What about the inspector? No, I can't ask him. Why? Things aren't quite the same since Arabella. But I thought that ended. Well, yes, but we haven't seen each other in a while. Why not? Because I've been busy. No, you haven't. Go and see him, Lucy. <sighs> William, there you are. I thought perhaps you'd left for the evening. You look tired. You look beautiful. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's nice to see you smile. Well, I haven't had much to smile about recently. I'm sorry I lied to you. I did try to lead Nash's men, but they just saw me as some bossy woman. You're not bossy, Eliza. You are determined. Things haven't quite turned out how I'd hoped. Sometimes I do wonder. If it's all worth it. You are good, Detective Eliza, very good. And whatever happens from here, you'll find a way to make it work. You always do. You're just saying that so that I pay for dinner tomorrow evening. I wasn't aware that we were due to dine. Well, the last Wednesday of every month we dine, and that just happens to be tomorrow. It's been a while since we enjoyed an evening out. It has. <laughs> oh, no more burning the midnight oil. You must go home tonight and rest. I will not have you falling asleep at the table. Take about what I said. You are bossy. Good night, Eliza. Good night, William. As I was wondering, uh, you're free to dine tomorrow evening. But we've only just had our monthly dinner. Oh, I can overlook that if you can. Tomorrow evening it is, then. Sorry. Miss Scarlet, Eliza. What is it? What's happened? It's Inspector Wellington. What about him? He's been shot. They're performing surgery, but they're not optimistic. They cannot say for certain if he will survive. sister and she wouldn't let me in at first. I bet my mother's ring on my wedding finger and told her you were my husband. <laughs> she seemed a little disappointed that you were perhaps taken. I think you've made quite a stir amongst the nurses, William. Everyone has a different opinion of my visits with you. Ivy believes I should just sit and talk to you as if nothing's happened. Detective Fitzroy suggested reading aloud from a Russian novel, the title of which I cannot pronounce. I suppose it might provoke you into sitting up and begging me to stop. 
And Mr. Potts? Well, Mr. Potts was surprisingly thoughtful. He advised that as you are a man who despises a lot of chatter, that I should merely sit with you. That would be company enough. Please wake up. William. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Drink. I'll get you some water. I was thinking more of double whiskey. <laughs> oh, what have I gone and done to myself now? You've had us all so worried. I've been coming every day to see you, to sit with you, hoping you'd wake up, and now you, and now you have. Oh my, listen to me going on. How are you feeling? No, if you just let me speak. It's good to hear your voice, William. It's good indeed. <laughs> Can I get you some more water? I prefer a whiskey. You're not having whiskey. Do you? This is comfortable. Not particularly when you do that. Sorry. <laughs> God. If I'd known what a poly nurse you were, I wouldn't have agreed to convalesce you. If I'd known what a demanding patient you were, I wouldn't have let you. Well, unlike you, I can't laze around like a lord of leisure. Hmm. My office won't run itself. Yes, I can imagine how busy running a staff of one must be. I can assure you, William, that it will not be long before my office is once again teeming with employees. Things are looking up at Nash and Sons. No, they had any sons. Promise me your rest and do as Ivy says. Do I have a choice? Um, no. <gasps> Didn't hear you come out. That's because you are asleep and snoring. I don't snore. Ivy will be back soon, but I can make you something to eat if you'd like. Ah. Uh... Can we please forego the teasing about my cooking? It's not teasing, you nearly killed me with some eggs once. Well, you can't go wrong with bread and jam. And no, I did not make either. Thank you. So how was your day? For the most part, horrible. You'll never believe he's back in London. Patrick Nash? How do you know that? Fitzroy. He told me during his daily visit. <laughs> I think that it's nice he comes to see you each day. Yeah. You'll miss the attention when you're back at work. I'm in no rush to go back. I'm serious. The whole place is falling apart. To be honest, I've considered not going back at all. That job is everything to you? Not everything. You know, this has made me realise that there are other things in life to consider. Such as? The future. Your future's at Scotland Yard. I don't think that's ever been in question. I'm not talking about work. Now, the first time we met was in this kitchen. It was. I remember watching you eat, what was it? Pork pie? Small town. <laughs> I can still remember the look of horror on your face. It wasn't horror, it was fascination. I'd never seen anyone eat like that. I still haven't. Mm. 
you make a good father. Would you like family of your own one day? <laughs> Can I speak my mind? Well, I need another whiskey. Mm -hmm. Given what you've just been through, I'm sure you don't need me to tell you this, but life is short. Don't waste it. I don't know what happened between you and Arabella, but I can take a good guess at the reason why it ended. So don't you think it's about time you told her? Sam, did you come home last night? I wasn't where you were my father. I had, uh, I hoped to speak to you, that's all. About what? If this is about you going home, you're not well enough yet. No, it's not that. Oh, I know what it is. No, you don't, but if you just listen for a moment. This Detective Fitzroy, isn't it? He's told you who my client is. I do not need you lecturing me about my safety with Eliza, him. will you please, for once, just listen to what I have to say? <sighs> Are you as your client? Are you in danger? Now's not the time, William. I really must be getting to work. Good evening. My name is Miss Scarlett. I believe you are an associate of my father's. You said there'd be food. Yes, I cooked a smoked ham this afternoon. I'll cut you a slice. So, how do you know my father? Do you work for the police? You got any bread? I'm not sure. I shall take a look at what else I make. Pray, would you like something to eat? Yes, please. Thank you. Hello again. Hello. Get yourself downstairs to the kitchen. Why do you come back? The young man is going to be staying with us for a few days, and you're to stay away from him, young lady. Now, you've a bit of time before Mr. Parker is due, so why don't you go and tidy that bedroom? Go on. Now. Mr. Parker. The Scarlet. Wait. William, shall we? Where's your father? Oh, he sent a telegram saying he would be delayed and sadly could no longer attend. He sent a telegram? When? Shortly before we left. But he requested that you accompany me nonetheless. Ah. I thought that's what he was doing. What exactly is going on? Very well. I may have brought you here under slight false pretenses. Mr. Parker's mother owns the leasehold of our property. She is very keen for myself and her son to become better acquainted, and I am less keen. Doesn't seem that interesting, mm -hmm. you? Thank the Lord for small mercies. Do you always lie this much? It wasn't a lie. It was a temporary departure from the truth. <laughs> okay. But you have my word, I'll never lie to you again. And of course, you always keep to your word. Always. <laughs> <laughs> 
Slanja. Cheers. <laughs> it's not fair, William. It's not fair. Please, just stop crying. You are in love with her. Unless you can convince me otherwise. Well, I wish you luck. And I say this out of friendship, not malice. Eliza's ambition will outweigh everything. Even her feelings for you. Nothing will ever be enough for her. Certainly not the future you envisage. William? You going? You're not well enough to go home yet. I'm not going home. I've been to see the super and he's agreed. I'm going to New York. Taking the secondment. For a year? For a year. <laughs> but this is because I was late for dinner. No. This is because I love you. It's a rare occurrence that I cause you to be speechless. Perhaps I should tell you that I love you more often. Well, you, you love me, and yet you're leaving. Something has to change, Eliza. Perhaps for you, perhaps for me. This will uh, give us the time to consider our options. I don't understand. Yes, you do. If we are to be together, then I cannot remain at Scotland Yard with you a private detective. Nor can I be around you anymore without... without being with you. You have put me in an impossible situation. So this is my fault? Yes. for now.
Why are you writing to Inspector Wellington? Because you aren't. What? He wrote me. He said he sent you three letters and you've not replied to any of them. I don't want any breakfast. I'll be late for work. Lizzie, you've not spoken of Inspector Wellington since he's been gone. Perhaps it might help to do so. You're clearly upset and angry with him. I'm not upset, nor am I angry. I'm absolutely fine. Inspector Wellington wrote me again. He wants to know if you're upset with him. Why is he asking you? Well, he tried asking you and got no response. Lizzie, no matter what you say, I know that you're angry. When you were a little girl... I do not need a story from my childhood cleverly designed to teach me a life lesson as an adult. You have no idea what the story was going to be. It was going to be about the dog, wasn't it? Fine. You know so much, you can sort things out for yourself. Nothing to sort out. Inspector Wellington has left. When he returns, we shall talk, and in the meantime, I have no intention of replying to his letters. Because you're angry with him. Fine. I am angry. He shouldn't have left. He should have stayed, and we could have... Could have what? I don't know. And there's your answer. What is the reason why he left? He went away for your sake as well as his. So you both could have had time to work out what it is you really want. He's a good man, Lizzie. He doesn't deserve you ignoring him like this. I see all the fault lies with me, does it? Thank you for your loyalty. Lizzie. I'm fed up with you, Patrick Nash, and everyone else pointing out my faults and telling me how to behave that I, as though I'm completely incapable of making my own decisions. If we are to be together, and I cannot remain in Scotland Yard with you, a private detective. Nor can I be around you anymore without... without being with you. understand why you did it. And you're right. Inspector Wellington leaving has caused me some upset. And you miss him. I'm only saying this because I love you. But I think replying to him would make you feel better. I think you're right. Oh, you're always right. Keep saying that to Barnabas, but will he listen? Good evening, my name is Miss Scarlett. I believe you are an associate of my father's. You said to be food. Yes, I cooked a smoked ham this afternoon. I'll cut you a slice. Dear William, I'm happy to hear things are going well for you in New York. It's been an interesting week here, but in balance a good one. Have you heard from Inspector Wellington recently? Yes, I received a letter from him this morning. He's moved into lodgings near the police precinct and seems to be settling in well. I plan to write back to him after dinner. Thank you. 
things haven't quite turned out how I'd hoped. Sometimes I do wonder if it's all worth it. You are a good detective, Eliza, very good. And whatever happens from here, you'll find a way to make it work. You always do. Perfect.